Yeah, I just uh, want to make a few comments. Um, number one, these channel migration zones. I listened last week, uh, people talking about channel migration zones, and I'd uh, just like to note that the speaker uh, lived in Port Townsend, and I don't see many channel migration zones going through Port Townsend. So again, it's just people that uh, aren't affected by the regulations that they're you know, aggressively promoting. Um, we sit here in the public comment period and we listen to people waving the newspaper, speaking to it as though it's some kind of gospel that uh, if I read it in the leader, it's got to be true. Uh, I'd, uh, I'd beg to differ. Uh, it's all about misdirection and misinformation and keeping things secret. And I guess I'll rail again about the meeting down at the Belmont, Commissioner Sullivan. Could you further expand on what you were doing down there at the Washington State Association of Counties, what you were doing there? And also, kind of to segue into something Joe said, it's interesting how people make public records requests and then they're given information and then a year later more bubbles to the surface. I made a public records request for all the records associated with the Belmont. You're meeting down there, September 17th, 15th, whatever it was. And it comes back, no records exist. Well, I got two records involving that from somebody else, right? So I'm not sure that I'm really, you know, that enamored with the Jefferson County uh, indexing system that allows the insurance that when a person makes a public records request that they actually get the documents. I mean, I've got clerk of the board, she doesn't know where a meeting took place in December 23rd, 2004. Where did the meeting of the commissioners take place? You don't even know. How can you have a meeting and not know where it takes place? It's, this is the point in where I'm talking where Commissioner Austin will start smirking. Well, I guess there he goes. Perfect. Camera's over here. Um, it's just, it's very disconcerting the fact that you keep records hidden away and don't provide them to the requester. So I guess I'm going to make a written public records request. I want to know the indexing system that you use to ensure that when a person makes a public records request, they get all the records associated with their request. And I'm going to make this request to the chairman of the board, is I want to know from you what you're going to do. Oh, 